This is Fred Ho at the end of my life with stage 4B metastatic cancer, including a tumor growing in my right lung, which is going to make me cough and uh, interrupt my performance. This is a text that was developed in 1996, commissioned by Bernadette Speech of the Kitchen in New York City. Whose crime? Who's the criminal? The ruling class tells you there's no ruling class. The ruling class tells you there are no political prisoners. The ruling class tells you that capitalism is the best of all possible worlds. The ruling class tells you that God blessed America when God had nothing to do with it. It wasn't God, but guns. And so the ruling class builds more and more jails, the one true affordable housing policy in this country. More prisons, and yet the crime rate, especially so-called violent crimes, hasn't increased, but decreased. The United States has the highest incarceration rate of all industrialized nations. A third higher than South Africa under apartheid. Five times higher than the rate of Western European countries. And it is African Americans and Latinos who disproportionately make up 60% of the inmate population. Supreme Court, Supreme Court, Supreme Court, Supreme Court, Supreme Court death penalty, Supreme Court pro death penalty, Justice Clarence Tom Ass objected to being a victim of a high tech lynching during his televised confirmation hearing. Yet, he is a zealous advocate of the death penalty. <laughs> a low-tech form of lynching. Every industrial country in the world has abolished the death penalty. Capital punishment is never for capitalists. Only for the poor, the oppressed nationalities, and Mumia Abu Jamal, the political prisoner. The Cold War is gone. The external communist menace and evil empire is gone. The military-industrial complex is now replaced by the prison-industrial complex. A conglomeration of government, the corporate sector, and academia. The threat today, the have-nots, the poor, the immigrant who is yellow and brown, the black, uneducated, urban young male, the welfare mother and her children, the Susan Smiths, the white, poor, not much educated mothers blamed for being bad moms, humiliated by those deadbeat dads who don't pay child support, ditch out, who aren't in the prisons. The rich, the sons of Republican presidents who embezzled hundreds of millions of dollars from savings and loan pension funds. CEOs of oil giants who spill millions of tons of oil into the ocean, who pour toxic pollutants into the air, whose deadly toxic plant fires kill hundreds of countries like India and Bangladesh, who sell nicotine spike drugs called cigarettes to millions of men, women, and children all over the world, who maim children and women in the third world in sweatshops, and then sell those overpriced celebrity-endorsed athletic shoes and apparel to us in the U.S. Who's crime? Who's the criminal?